putting hogs on the mind, planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat, purple trim, big body, old school for low. Purple rim, seven seven cutty, black with the purple strip. What's good, fam? All right, family. Got a little topic, got a little old video. We gonna talk about. It is Steve Young. He talked. He said this back in the day. This is back in the day. So here's the video. Check it out. Robert, you set me up perfectly because the Baltimore Ravens have doubled down again on being the most un, being the most sophisticated running game in football, and they have been mowing through regular season opponents for a long time with this most sophisticated running game. My position is they will never get to championship football without a sophisticated passing game. That's not anything to do with Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson is a complete player that is being not trained in being a sophisticated passer. They double down again back to all the great things that Lamar does. Great. But until he gets the chance to show that he is a sophisticated passer of the football in a sophisticated passing game that is properly you know, invested in, which we never have, which they never have done to Robert's point just a minute ago. They don't invest in it. They don't teach it. And now you ask them, why isn't he getting paid to be Patrick Mahomes? Because they haven't given him a chance to be Patrick Mahomes. So until they do, Lamar Jackson's damned because of what the Ravens are doing, not because of Lamar Jackson. I can't wait for someone to train Lamar Jackson in a sophisticated passing game. I think he'd be the greatest player in the history of the game. Yeah. But he keeps getting, he's being held back by the Ravens year after year because they keep doubling down to this thing that Lamar Jackson is great at. No question. He's, he's the best at that. Yeah. But it's not the championship football that they need to play, and it's not where Lamar Jackson wants to be. I want the full measure, Robert, of yeah. who Lamar Jackson is. And the full measure is not being brought forward by the Ravens. And if that's not the case, then get out and find someone who will. All right. Now, I'm not going to try to make this long. But... I what the heck was that? But I believe that got some paranormal activity going on behind me. But anyway, I believe what he said. Lamar could possibly be the best NFL player ever, like quarterback wise, with his skill set that can throw, that can run, that's just lethal. These, this is Lamar is, we know he did it in college. He continually get better each year and year after year. He gets better. Now he has some weapons. We've been asking for more weapons. He has some. I know some of us are looking for that big splash highlight plays, but how the Ravens are cooking teams? What for? What for? The big splash plays, it's going to happen. It's been happening sometimes in the run game, sometimes in the past, but not back to back to back. Usually a lot of teams that had them big splash plays this year I've seen, like the Dolphins, it's not going to hold up. To me, in my opinion, what the Ravens have been doing is chewing up the clock. They did that in 2019. And I know a lot of people mentioned 2019. But I believe this year, even if the record doesn't show, this can be a better year than 2019. I really believe they can win the Super Bowl this year. No bar, none, no injury, knock on wood. Hold on. There we go. I was knocking on my mouse pad. Knock on wood. But I believe this can be better. Lamar, with his skill set, with the wide receivers he's you with uh he has. They have we have two wide receivers that has Super Bowl has been played in the Super Bowl. One is about to win the MVP. And that's Odell. We have players on the defense that have never even touched the Super Bowl, just like players on the offense. But he has two, I can think of right off of my head, 
that has played in the Super Bowl. That's Nelly and that's Odell. So they're and they both Super Bowl champions. So they're they're gonna know what to do. Harbs. Even though we 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 go back and forth with Harbs. Super Bowl coach. It's been a while, but Super Bowl coach. So just think about that. And Steve Young himself said, and this was the funny part, it was like years back when he said this was that the Ravens are holding pretty much the Ravens are holding Lamar back from from passing. Once he gets better in passing, this is gonna be one of the best he believes it could be the best NFL player he has ever seen. And Lamar's passing has leaps and bound from what he did and what he had in 2019 when he won that MVP. Now we're going to speak about Lamar winning an MVP on a, on another video, but I just wanted to share that with y'all. I just wanted to share that old clip. So how do y'all feel about that? What Steve Young said, do you possibly believe that Lamar could go down as one of the best to do it? Like, in my opinion, the two best to ever chunk that mug is Dan Marino. He never won. But we know if he had a defense, he would have probably won a bunch of them because he used to launch it. But what y'all think? Come on, Lamar, Action Jackson. Be one of the best. He's going to win a Super Bowl, hopefully this year. But he's going to win multiple Super Bowls. I foresee it. I hope it. I pray it. Hit the like. Hit the subscribe. Hit the share. Everybody stay safe. And you already know. God bless. I'm on a whole different frequency. Yeah. To the point if you met real, you would tell him that he keeps it me. Vibe on 11 really turned up. Really turned up. Ride slow through the city while the trunk rattle. Knob on 11, baby, turned up. Baby, turned up. Baby, turned up.